Hey everybody! It is 2 a.m. I think. I got home from work at like 1 and started working on the custom order that I've got. And I just wanted to let you all know that I have not forgot about you. I had a lot of things going on unexpectedly the last couple days. Bathroom flooded. Just unexpected company, things like that, so, um, but you know, that's, that's the life, right? Um, I wanted to show you guys the shelf that is put together, um, not completely organized yet, but we're getting there, um, I'll, even sh I'll show you guys, why not, I don't know if you see all of this stuff. Can I get it in the camera there? Yeah. Oh, you see my spray painting? Yeah. Um. <laughs> anyway. I'm getting you guys uh, this video done. I'm going to be staying up late tonight working on some organization. You saw all the tubs that I have to go through, the storage boxes. So, sorry that I haven't got a video up in a couple of days, but we're moving along. I was going to let you guys know what I had found out about organization. And I, um, I'm actually quite an organized person, really, when it comes to, like, just my things. But when I'm working, I tend to be less organized because I will have, like, several projects going on at once. And, you know, when I get to a stopping point on one and I have to wait for something to take place, like, for instance, with the... With the custom order I'm doing, I'm using metal clay, so there's a drying process that I have to wait for before I can move forward. Um, so while that's drying, I'll be working on, like, another project and, you know, just kind of, like, skip around. Uh, probably shouldn't try to do as many as I try to do at one time, but, you know. Um, oh, yeah. I... I lose track, guys, so you'll have to, you'll have to bear with me. Um, got a notepad here, because apparently my organization is not. <laughs> I learned a lot. So what I learned, um, some organization hacks for you guys, and I know I still haven't shared the videos that I watched. Um, I will. <laughs> I don't know if I will link them on YouTube. You may have to watch for them somewhere, like uh, the Facebook group or Instagram. So, I got this from a few different videos. What I did was I watched a lot of different videos, basically, on organizing. Um, that was just easier for me than like trying to sit down and read something for now, because I was also working on some other things while I was watching those videos. So... Um, but what I learned, anyway, from taking this, and this was something that was said over and over again, is you want to take everything out, like, just take everything out of the room. Um, in my case, I will probably do that, like, one storage box at a time, because it's, I think that my storage boxes are actually kind of categorized, like, I have one box that's all like painting stuff. I have one box that's all like metal tools. Um, I have another box that's like a uh, clay working, I think. Um, so that stuff is kind of like, is kind of that way. And I don't think I'll have to take everything out all at once to go through it. Um, well, what you want to do anyways after you take things out is you want to place the like things with the like things. Um, make a yes pile, a no pile, and a maybe pile. The maybe pile are things, you know, you don't want to get rid of just yet. Maybe you think you might use them. So stick them in that maybe pile and then come back to them, you know, in like a week, a month. As long as you come back to them and if you haven't used stuff, then maybe it is time to let it go. Oh, this one I really liked, making a floor plan. Um, I am going to try to do that with my studio. Um, not sure how it's going to work because it's kind of a small space. 
and a lot of the floor plan is just going to be the layout of the shelves because uh, there's not so much that I can do with like the furniture and things in the room um, because it's just it's just not big enough to to make any real changes in that way but um, definitely a, f a shelf plan is what I'm going to make and we'll have things organized you know by function that was something else that I really found mm -mm. my cats are knocking things over uh, this is another reason my studio is not in yeah you're not even supposed to be up um, so kind of like my storage boxes already are they're going to be or they are already uh, categorized by like painting, clay work, metal tools, things like that. So I'm going to keep that that going with my shelves as I make the, the floor plan, shelf plan for my shelves. And everything is going to get its own home. That was probably the, the last thing that I found useful to me. Um, there were a lot of other tips and things I didn't include. Everything I learned just because I felt like those were the biggest the biggest things that could help me right now So I really hope that that list helps you as well and that you're getting yourself and your studio organized and Really once this is done we can get into some much cooler things I will show you guys how to do some photos, white background photos, and maybe some lifestyle photos. It'll probably be like a two two or three video series on that. Um yeah. I think that's I think that's it for tonight. This is gonna throw my schedule off because I usually I try to be asleep by this time so that I can wake up early and have like the whole day to to do things. But I just, I couldn't wait any longer to get you guys a video out. Um, although you may not see this until <laughs> in the morning. Um, if I waited till tomorrow, then it would have been the whole, you know, uh, at least now I'm doing something. If you guys are interested in watching the same free video training series that got me started on the right track, I will have that link for you in the description. So be sure to check that out. I'm sure you will enjoy it. It's going to show you step by step how to create a product line. So have fun with that. I'll catch you next time. Bye.